Well hit down the left hand line. Way back in. The winners and still world champions, the Toronto Blue Jays. It's only the second time ever that a World Series has ended on a home run. That was then. This is now. And now is our time. Welcome to the Blue Jays Banter. I'm Mike Jackman. If there's one sports team that can't wait to turn the month of August over, it's the Toronto Blue Jays. If you could sum up the Blue Jays August in just one word, that word would be mulligan. It's definitely a month that the Blue Jays wish they could do over. They're 7-18 and 18, and it has dropped them out of playoff contention for yet another year. And they'll also be without their all-star slugger Jose Batista for the rest of the year. He'll have surgery on that left wrist that he injured in New York not too long ago. But there's got to be a light at somewhere at the end of the tunnel for the Blue Jays in August. And that's happened at the end of August as they took 2 out of 3 from the Yankees at Yankee Stadium for the first time in a few years. Now that spoiler alert's got a point at the Tampa Bay Rays. The Blue Jays usually have trouble with Tampa Bay. So they've got to take that momentum they took from New York winning that series and put it into knocking off these Tampa Bay Rays as well. And they had the right man on the mound Thursday night, Carlos Villanueva, who's been hot for the Blue Jays this year. So he tried to show another reason why the Blue Jays should sign him and keep him in the starting rotation for 2013 season. Let's check out the highlights from Thursday night at the Rogers Center against Tampa Bay. This is proof walks do come back to hurt you, Matt Moore. Bases loaded for the Blue Jays in the first. Kelly Johnson drives in two with this double to right field. And the Blue Jays had an early 2 to nothing need in the bottom of the first inning. That was more than enough run support for Carlos Villanueva on this night as he gets B.J. Upton looking at strike three right there. Then he makes Ben Zobras look like a fool looking at strike three. Next up, Evan Longoria. Villanueva makes you look like Eva Longoria with that swing. Six straight strikeouts for Villanueva tied the Blue Jays record. But you know, sometimes you need some defense as well. And Villanueva got that from Roger Davis as Desmond Jennings hits this one to left. Sliding and making the catchers Davis. Blue Jays win this 2-0. That's exactly what you need from your starting pitching right there. Villanueva went 6 strong innings. Only giving up 5 hits and 7 strikeouts. While only walking 1 in the process. And the Blue Jays bullpen came in. Lincoln and Oliver shut the door. And set it up for Jansen to come in in the ninth And save it for his 18th of the year. Uh, the timely offense in the bottom of the first, taking advantage of Matt Moore's walks and the bases loaded. Kelly Johnson drove in two with that double, counted as the only runs of the game, as the Blue Jays won it two to nothing. Uh, Brendan Morrow will get the start tomorrow, Friday night. It'll be his first start at home since June when he injured himself against the Washington Nationals. Thanks for watching and keep on bleeding the blue and white.